Hey Gavox here. So we got a title update today and a little tease for content coming tomorrow, which we'll go over a little later. First up, the title update. And let me say, once again, disappointed by the work EA is putting in on the whole fixing of their game. Uh, Anthony White and the, the, the game, the like game play are good. Wait, that, that was a bad sentence. Is good. Whatever. The, the changes they're bringing to the playbooks are cool, right? The problem with them is they're only there for franchise play now, like practice mode, that kind of stuff. So they haven't brought it to the Mutt world yet. He said in a few weeks, but they've been kicking that can down the road, much like a, a, like a, a depression era, era homeless person kicks it down the road as they're looking at their last meal, stretching it thin here. Anyways, so the title update. Didn't change really anything except they added some plays and updated play calling information for the computer. I, I don't know, man. I just so fucking frustrating, right? Like, why is it they've got this entire gameplay team, right? I don't. Maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe it's just like Clint and like two fucking ghosts that Randy Marsh spit out, right? Like, wh why is there no fucking meta fixes? Yeah, great. You're, you're, uh. You're one, like, what, two people are doing a good job with the play calls or whatever. I don't know how many people work on these uh, different routes and stuff. But what? What? Okay. Cool. Like, this is all really fucking cool, right? I fucking love new plays and new formations. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But clearly, they're on a 21 right now. Some people, they're still in 20, right? They're, 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 the live playbook stuff, holy, that just becomes the playbooks going forward and they can just kind of do more of these updates easier so that i kind of like stuck between live and old playbooks hopefully allow a little bit of that they've talked about that in the past kind of going forward what's that, that that's kind of kind of be how it is so general stability and connectivity improvements we know we had like a server downtime this morning i talked about it in the video last night they were telling us that's coming so that's always super nice getting rid of some of that leg getting rid of some of the dc issues that we've seen obviously that's very cool they don't really go into like any types of depth like they've never come out and said hey we fixed these dc glitches even though we know well i know that they have because the ways that i put out my dc glitch video that shit got patched right that got patched a few days after i put out that video there's only one dc left in the game that i know of that still is there and i reported now, now i haven't tested it lately maybe they fixed it and i just haven't tested it in a little bit and so so it's not even a problem anymore uh because i reported a little while ago so maybe it's worth looking into but hopefully more of the fixes and more of the dc issues go away with this but we'll see um i updated like an update on the ban thing a lot of people in the comments yesterday were like yeah i got banned for selling coins i got banned for blankety blank all the different reasons some people got banned unfairly ea supports aware is aware of a unfair ban um i got a couple messages about that and like ea is like all right that's an issue on our end so some people are still up in the air contact ea help is sometimes they're helpful a lot of times you'll get frustrated with them so the NFL Live playbook updates. I'm not going to go through each one of them. Um, this is apparently a cover three beater, so it just takes forever to do. So you got to get somebody fast out there. Hopefully hopefully your protection holds up, I guess, in time. Um, you got two check and release routes, so don't use it against the Blitz Heavy Meta, right? Use it against somebody playing off cover three, but again, not in Mutt, not in Mutt, not in Mutt, none of this in Mutt. Uh, we got some like tight end screens that they talked about and single back deuce close. I mean, so much of this would be fun to use. Another, another, uh, okay, okay, okay. Where was it? Um, let's go here, here. Another play that was actually kind of interesting that I think would just absolutely break, break the game. <laughs> like this formation right here, this quarter overload. Like how bad is the offensive line at dealing with overload blitzes on the edge? And they're like, let's just add in a standard overload blitz on the edge, right? Like <laughs> these offensive linemen don't recognize contains at all. They just fuck up and, and frequently like, huh, let me pass you off to my quarterback. Let me not even fucking try to stop you. Whereas like in, in real life, like the left tackle, these athletic fucking specimens, the Tyron Smiths of the world, who just like, who, who's just like a ripped fucking dude. <clears throat> Sorry, but taller, like an absolute fucking genetic freak could easily handle any type of moment, uh, mobility issue like this. So I don't know, a little, little, uh, little strange, but you know, it's not in mud, it's in franchise just basically auto setting up your uh, contain but like obviously the problem with this is you know can you run against it right can you run against this the answer will probably be maybe like three or four yards a pop right because the game is backwards and the heavy sets are harder to run against the, the light sets sometimes shoot through pretty easily but you know what i just want to try it out i just want to freaking try it out um 
moving forward on the gridiron notes here's just they showed you how to do the live playbooks and stuff and whatnot um but that's about it that's the entire update very frustrating that they haven't touched anything in gameplay uh corner routes roll out cheese that the corner the cloud flat still flies towards the line of scrimmage when they roll out which is a major problem which is why rollouts are so fucking good i've been having a little i've, I've been testing out some stuff against corn uh a corner routes and that shit and i just blitz the fucking house that's all i do now i, I any anytime someone comes out tight offset tight end three four cover three spread d line blitz all linebackers press until they're all up line of scrimmage contain user the one safety on like a, a a flat over there try and jam a receiver and that's basically my defense right it's just it's so bad you got to use the meta against the meta all right but anyways coming out ca uh cards coming out tomorrow with the team builder so i thought it was gonna be combine and they decided to surprise us, which is a cool surprise. I like it. So because of Combine, last year the Combine promo came out on the 26th, and the Combine started on the 26th, right? The drills ended up happening a few days later. So it came out on the 26th, started on the 26th. This year, it's starting uh, the 23rd, and it's the 20th. So I was like, oh, close enough. Maybe we'll get Combine. But no, the three-day gap was important. Next week, I'm sure we'll get the uh, Combine players uh, maybe they'll wait until they do the drills this year versus last year. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I like it. I, I fucking love it. More content. So yay us. I'm glad that I was fucking wrong about the combine coming Friday. And I'm glad that theme builders are here because this is actually more exciting to me than the combine. So Tannehill, actually a fucking speed. Like anybody who's used that other Tannehill card uh, where, where he was able to get a skate artist, like that one's a beast. This one is basically with a throw power, the go deep. He's got no power up, which is a little, uh, huh, right? That I could add power ups for him. So maybe it's just work in progress, but uh, it looks like he's just coming out stock. Even stock, this is looking god tier, right? Like he doesn't even need a he doesn't even need a power. Maybe for the one plus throw power, but like if you have a theme, if you have a theme team with the, the the Titans, anything like that, you could add the throw power onto that from that theme, and you could easily get this up to ninety nine, right? With John Madden and theme chems. So that's not too bad. Um, even 98 throw power, just John Madden and, and go deep is actually very cromulent. So Ryan Tannehill, the only issue will be release. Obviously the release on the card, uh, it's whatever. It's not Aaron Rodgers, right? Next up, Jalen Brown, 89 speed on him. So like every team's going to get two 97s. I love it. And I'm going to break all these things down tonight. They're doing a special stream at 7 PM. I will be live during their special stream. So you can check out mine as I react to these cards live. Jalen Brown, though, solid middle linebacker with 89 speed. I like it. So AJ Brown, another card. Who do you guys think is going to be your team's theme builder? I'm for hoping for the Steelers. I basically guarantee it's going to be J, uh, J, TJ Watt on defense and offense. I hope it's not Juju. If it's Juju, that's a huge waste of a fucking card. Jarrell Casey is the defender one for the Titans, uh, the 97 overall. I mean, 99 power move, 99 tackle. Wow. Wow. We're uh, getting to the end game now. A lot of these cards will be basically end game. Um, maybe not end game, end game, because 74 speed is not there, but like maxed out stats otherwise. So with that, so I'm guessing the Steelers are going to get an offensive lineman for their offensive player uh, between a DeCastro, Villanueva. I'm hoping for a tackle more than a DeCastro. I'm fine. I love DeCastro right now. His 92 is actually like, is actually like a 94, 95 based off of how good his stats are versus other guards. Um, so I really hope it's not DeCastro. I hope it's a left tackle, um, or, or center. I like the set, like Pouncey had a really bad year though. So Villanueva, I'll take, I'll take him fella. I don't, I don't care. Tackle is what the, the theme team needs the most. So hopefully they get that, but I'm guessing it's just going to be like DeCastro or Juju and I'm going to be super fucking let down. Um, I really don't want him to be running back either. They didn't, the team MVP wasn't a running back Their they, Their offensive skill positions were basically down so many spots. Right, I guess I guess Deontay could be it. No, I'm not gonna speculate that more. We'll see you tonight. Uh, we'll we'll uh, do a reveal live on stream. Then I'll post it here on YouTube for uh, our, our breakdown and analysis of those team by team. But that's kind of the update. Very frustratingly so. Uh, oh yeah, here's last year's. They had to cast and Watt. So we're thinking Watt and another offensive lineman. That's kind of where I went. There were there was 19s um, players. But uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you in stream in a few minutes. Otherwise tonight on YouTube.